各位，我们准备开始今天最后一个筛选。
I always speak uh, in English and Japanese, but I have several ways to speak slow global language. So you can ask me about those questions from deep details in the DB class. Then we made a big jump of the version number from 5 and 7 all the way up to minus 8. There were so many questions we heard, we have been, and still be here, receiving questions, which is why jump from 5 7 all the way up to 8.0? First of all, 8 is a good number for you, and then you put Japanese for us as well. Yeah, it's a good number, but no, it's you know, just only a minus 8. One thing that we stood it to be a next major version after 5.7 as a 5.8. And because the previous version of the previous major version was 5.6 and a 5.5. 5.5, 5.7, 5 5.8. It's got natural steps to come up. But we made a huge change in the current picture, introducing data dictionary. I will explain. What is data dictionary in the slides? But basically, we change the, the way of managing metadata from flat file and no transactional tables into transactional tables. So let's discuss that one uh, in later slides. But one big set, one, one big uh, set we have done in my school of eight is this: no SQL plus SQL equals MySQL. MySQL is a relational database. You can use SQL statements, yes. But at the same time, we are integrating features, functions of NoSQL. Nowadays, you hear many applications try to use document database. Or some applications require data model, so called unstructured data. Structured data. In the table, we define schema first, and the strict rule, what kind of data you can store, and how many columns, it's sort of store, a structured data. By the way, you create some application. For example, e-commerce site, you are selling electronics products, like TV, TV, DVD players, and hard disk recorders, and in a single website. When you did database or data a table to score those products. You have to specify, you, you have to have the information of a spec. If it's a TV, size of a screen, resolutions, how many antennas embedded inside. That's the main thing, but you may have several different things. However, if you sell DVD recorder, hard disk recorders, Size of screen, you may have a tiny screen maybe. Resolution, who cares? But it's more importantly, what kind of media is supported? What kind of media is support? How big the size of the hard disk drive or storage is? Does it support external storage or not? Structure of table. Even if it's a product spec table you create, it's really difficult to store in a single table. You may create TV table, TV spec table, recorder, uh, recorder uh, spec table, but how about TV embeds recorder in it? You have to have the profile spec of both TV and recorders in a single, uh, single table. So in that case, we prefer to think about to use uh, not tables, which has a limited number of columns. Raza used so called unstructured data. In ancient days, I shouldn't say ancient days, but old, old days, people were using XML. Maybe some of you are still using XML with some application. But nowadays, what people are using is JSON. J S O N. JSON is based on the JavaScript format and more useful to communicating between applications or design unstructured data. So what we are working on is MySQL to support hybrid data models of the relational tables and the JSON body. We try to pick, uh, provide flexible APIs in MySQL 8. Of course, it's a database. It must, must have the transaction. 
Hamas counter data consistency. Some non-SQL solution cannot provide a top transactions, for the good performance, or failing to have data consistency. When you have regional database and non-SQL data, it can be documented as well. There are several headache problems you will face. First of all, if you are application developers, you have to learn SQL and another NoSQL API at the same time. If you are more from operation side, EBA or system administrators, different data store means different tools to manage and buy. But what of fact, more from the application developers point of view, how to synchronize data between different data stores. That'll be kind of a challenge. When you change the uh, spec of products, you may need to change the parts number in the regional table to store uh, to check the store, uh, stocks, how, how much products is still in the, in the, uh, in the warehouse. But I also gotta change the profile of the uh, information stored in JSON document. How can you synchronize these, these two data? Do you want to create your own transaction management system? Nah, that's not a really good option. So our, our proposal is how about storing JSON document inside of MySQL server's table and use a single unified API named the new XDev API. I will show you what it, it looks like in later demo. But if that's a unified API, you can use table, table and a JSON document was a single API. Of course, we do support SQL statements, but it's also who hates SQL. In this room, most of you are coming with relational data, because we're here. Some application developers really hate SQL, with some data. I, 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 I'm more from relational database side, so I don't understand why they hate SQL language. But some people, you know, some people really hate it. So, okay, no worries, we provide API, CRUD stands for create, read, update, and delete. It's like insert, select, update, delete, type of, but it's not a single statement. Regular API. You will see more details in the data sets. And of course, it's a single tool, single software, uh, single data store, single database management solution, but single tool to manage the environment. It's good enough. One more important thing is here. Data is always in sync. It's always in the same state, consistent. Why? Because JSON document is part of the table. We do have the so-called JSON data. It's like a text or DLOG. But we have a special data type named the JSON data type, and you can store data in one column of the table. Then, since document is already inside of the table. You can join relational database table and JSON document in the SQL statements. All the soon we will provide a NoSQL API to do the join as well. So this is the, the reason uh, we are calling MySQL 8 as a NoSQL plus SQL equals MySQL. And one more new thing we are doing is sort of a continuous delivery model. Nowadays, if you are using cloud service, you will sometimes experience a week later, certain feature was not available, but this week you can use that and released every single month. We are, trying, we are uh, planning to catch up the model of the cloud ever. We provide a more energy for new feature. Don't have to wait for the next major work. In the other words, Every single minor version of MySQL, you will see more and more new features. And a release note, release note on MySQL 8, you will see huge release note. Even if it's not a single email, because we have a limited couple of size of email, we need to send you like a three different email on MySQL 8.0.8.17 announcement. You will see the some examples in the slide. So this is a so-called uh, uh, continuous delivery model. 
And uh, one more important reason we are not providing this is we try to answer customers' bug reports as well as feature requests. Hey, MySQL team, I want you to fix MySQL in this one. I found a bug. Or I want you to change MySQL in this way or adding new features. One of the examples. This one was already covered by the uh, Kevin session, or Kevin from line, is the favorite presentation of this one. This one is already covered. Instant uptime for auto change. This one is a contribution from Tencent Games, China. But we added this big new feature after we made MySQL as a general availability GA product. MySQL 8.0.11. 8.0.11 is a first major, a first version we released to the market as a production version. First minor version. After GA, we added a big new feature in MySQL or sorry, instant advertising. So let's look into the one of the most important features of MySQL 8. Name the document a data dictionary. Before MySQL, which means MySQL 5.7, 5.6, or fault products no, uh, fault from the older version of MySQL. Even in MySQL older versions are storing metadata in different way. But if you are using MySQL, you often see in the file system, whenever you create a new table, Every single table always has a file name, uh, table name dot frm. It stores table format. TRG for the trigger. OPT for the uh, database option. MySQL using front file to store metadata. Users, events, procedures, privileges of DB database levels of privileges, table level of privileges, columns, for column privileges, or using my ISAM storage engine tables, which is not supporting the runtime. Some system table, system data of your DB is stored in the data uh, table space of your DB. So MySQL is storing different data to different places, but from MySQL 8, it just uses simple data dictionary tables. More information, no more front file data management, no more MySQL. Everything inside of the InnoDB tables. This simplifies to operating MySQL and for our MySQL developers, simplify to developing software itself. It also helps a lot of performance in many cases, especially when we are typing command like a show command to see the metadata or looking into inside of an information schema or performance schema, those people's in performance schema or in, uh, information schema or results of show tables are fetching metadata and showing to you. But in older version of MySQL, one of the challenge is some information schema table, performance schema table are Fetching data from front file, fetching data from these MySQL tables, and creating temporary tables, and joining with another temporary table and get the results, which makes really slow in many cases. But because it was MySQL 8, it became much faster, and of course, it's using InnoDB version. Those metadata is also protected under transaction, it might have became far more durable stronger against a failure there as well. Now there are lots of a lot of features came into MySQL 8. Let's look into some interesting features starting with GIS. MySQL do support the GIS function from older version. GIS stands for geographical information system. Starting from MySQL 5.7. We, we are now using external software C++ library in the boost geometry. And we are having a dedicated engineer to contribute to this open source community. Starting from MySQL 8, we do support this planet as a sphere, 
as well as spatial reference of the current system. Which, um, understands this planet is not pure spheres. Some mountains, oceans, it's not a pure sphere you may know, it's not a compressible from most sounds. This SRL SLS understands those differences. So if you are interested in a GIS function of MySQL 8, actually we have the specialist in this room, the Yamasakson, who was a speaker of the audio presentation, they were performance unit. He's a specialist of GIS of MySQL. So if you have any questions, please ask him. He knows way better than I do. The one more step is Unicode became default. MySQL has been supporting Unicode for a long time, but now Unicode is default. In MySQL, character set name of MySQL, so the UTF <coughs> it would be four, is a default character set. And it's actually became far faster comparing characters of Unicode. And we are supporting Unicode 10, uh, Unicode 9, and having the uh, new collations, how to compare characters or how to sort the information based on Unicode. Previously, we were having our own way of sort, uh, how to sort characters and so on, but we just purely comply with Unicode. We also focus on application development, which already I have to MySQL 5.7 supports JSON data. So you can store JSON data inside of, of your table. Number of SQL functions to read and write uh, JSON data inside of MySQL. And we now have NoSQL API named Extend API. Also, one of my favorite functions for JSON data is named the JSON table function. Again, this is designed for the full last SQL, okay? Application developer who doesn't do a SQL, please ignore this one. This one will convert JSON data back into table and you can run SQL operation against those uh, generated tables. In this example, command named JSON of CLL is JSON doc. By using JSON table, JSON document will be converted into the table having two columns, named people, and which can be used in the web box. How does it look like? Here is the original JSON document, and it will have nested domain, but it will be converted into the temporary table like this. And you can run SQL statements, or web class, group by, Correct. To this thing, you don't have to parse the JSON by yourself. So this is really fun and useful if you are if you love, again if you love uh, SQL statements. There are lots of different SQL statements to, to uh, manipulate. Uh, MySQL, uh, sorry, the JSON inside of MySQL. But I I will show you one of them, which is XDev API. So this, this is a client tool named MySQL Shell. I'm not sure you're familiar with MySQL Shell. This is a new client tool. Uh, you can download of course for free. And this supports different languages to access to MySQL. For example, if you love Python, you can switch to Python mode. Of course you know. Of course you love SQL. <laughs> you can switch to SQL again. Or you can, uh, whoops. I can switch back to JavaScript. And you can connect to MySQL server. I forgot which one I was doing. Three, three, one, seven. I go to the MySQL server and I put the number 3317. But to use new API and the XDIV API, you need to have port number 10 times of the regular MySQL server's port Then now I connect it to MySQL server was JS JavaScript mode. And uh, rather than typing the whole thing, I just, let me copy and paste, then it's safer. Session dot get to schema. It's similar to show database. 
Now I'm saying different databases inside of MySQL, including performance schema, information schema, MySQL systems, and WordX in, uh, in group contains some uh, sample data as well. So let's use this uh, schema, WordX, like they use WordX. Get tables will really, it's similar to show tables. Then I need to do some data from here. Session dot get the schema all that. Get table sheet. So I'm now looking into the uh, sheet table inside of world X database. Then Country info table has a, a JSON data and ID generated from inside of the JSON data. Then, whoops, I forgot to look at So each dot, dot uh, each each row, uh, row storing the JSON document data and the value of the ID. It's so automatically generated from the ID number, uh, ID uh, rep field inside of JSON document. It, it's using feature in the uh, generated column of MySQL things. You can have the SQL statements. any line of uh, SQL statement, I could fetch record inside of JSON doc. So that's a beauty of the MySQL's XDB API. You can run just new APIs, but you can access to the table and JSON document inside of MySQL 
was really similar format on functions. Because this is a this is a how I access to the uh, JSON doc. I didn't use a variable, so it's kind of uh, mistakes and value. Similar idea. Table of table table C now no, sorry, the table table C. And don't select from where. Then you get the result. Of course you can do the group by, sort order by, by sort function, limit, and so on. And you can get your results seamlessly between tables and JSON, depending on the what application you use. And you can actually switch outputs. I don't have time to have a demonstration everything, but you can switch outputs from table structure to JSON structure, vice versa as well if you if you are fetching JSON data but want to see the data set in table format, you can change the output format into table and you get the table for the result as well. So this is a really seamless API between JSON and well, tables. So back to presentation quickly. Changes uh, against JSON data and build and take this data back became far faster. We so-called minimal, cha uh, minimal changes to, to apply against those data types. Five, seven, eight, using JSON data type or VLOP data type or, or text data type. Size of the changes will be recorded in log VLOP really small, and the actual changes against data itself is also really minimal. Yeah, minimal. This also means we can transfer data between servers to verify. So this is a 5.7, this is a 8. And a full uh, writing mail of the phone and a mail. MySQL 8 do support common table expression. It's really useful or to have some uh, hierarchical information. Or you can need to run some query many, many, many times in a single query. It will be much faster with this uh, CPE common table expression, or sometimes referred as a with class. Query is uh, some query is starting with with, and this one will be used again and again and again in the main query. That will be faster than using normal some queries. Window function. That's a really needed when you're having create calculating uh, run table. Can be useful in the enterprise systems or games or any type of application need a ranking per division, per group of people. Window function without window function, that's a really impossible to uh, execute, but with window function, that'll be really, really easy as well. Number of enhancements in performance of MySQL 8. Since inside of MySQL, you don't have to do anything to get benefit so-called new content, contention aware transaction scheduling too long to call. We just call it tax, C A T S. It's like tax. As a new algorithm, how do you let transactions go through? If some two transactions try to take one seat together. If someone let away other transaction, only two transactions wait for this transaction to take C, but another transaction let wait and five transactions behind the transaction. Someone will take C first and complete operations, then all transactions will be executed faster. That's kind of simple algorithm, but it gave us really huge improve, improvement of the uh, performance against the concurrent transactions. Optimizer became much, much smarter. You can have a better uh, judge of optimization, optimizer by his run. But there are a number of things useful for the application team as well. For example, Selectable update means you try to lock record to update upgrade to something to next. Now with no wait. If I try to lock this object, if someone else was already taking seat, I will just immediately get a lock and I can do something else. I don't have to wait for lock to be unlocked. That's one of the common scenarios we see often. Lock contention. I try to get lock of, uh, but uh, someone is already taking lock, so I gotta wait, 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 wait. No, no more. Just get LR immediately. You need a proper LR 100, but at least you don't have to wait. Skip lock. 
is different idea. You try to lock four records. But unfortunately, single one was already capable locked by someone else. If I specify skip locked, I can lock number only number one, three, and four. Because set number two is already locked by someone else, so I will skip it, but the rest I can get. So depending on the application requirements, it's not perfect to do for all scenario, but there must be useful cases in your application, your customer's application. So there are a number of enhancements. Don't worry, I will share a whole presentation, just no secrets. So you can look into the uh, presentation, you can read uh, for some more details. One more thing I need to highlight is, which was covered by many times already today, uh, in the DB cluster. It's a built-in high, high availability option of MySQL or starting with MySQL 8. MySQL 5, 7, and 8 have so-called group replication. It's a, a based on the replication technology of MySQL, but a lot of enhancements have the automatic fail, fail detect, failure detection and the automatic failover. By default, it will be similar to the master-slave configuration. We call it single primary mode, and that's our recommendation as well. If you understand the limitations, there are a couple of limitations. You can switch to multi-master configuration. But uh, to be honest, I do suggest you to test carefully to use uh, multi-master applications. There are several limitations. It's not easy to come over in some applications. Some of it is dumb easy, but it depends. So please review the limitation in our uh, reference module. Uh, we are uh, clearly telling what's the limitation. To be honest, it's slightly slower than asynchronous replication. This yellow curve, high, high one, is an asynchronous replication of master and slave. Group replication is technically used to equal virtually synchronous. We send transaction to servers, and if everyone agreed to receive transaction, and you can check, uh, you know, the operation will continue to go on to. Here's a line for the asynchronous replication, and blue one is a group replication. I is tail up on top. It's an unsafe configuration and durable, safe configuration. So please ignore this you know, top portion. It's like a, it's not just unsafe configuration we never recommend. But you can improve performance if you, you can take a set risk. Then this yellow line is a master of asynchronous replication, three servers, five servers, nine, uh, uh, seven servers, nine servers. The red one is a, another technology studied earlier. Actually, they studied the you know, single architecture earlier with group replication way ahead, a couple years ahead. But we learned from that how to tune those uh, replication configuration. By the way, of course, you can take pictures if you want. But also, this information we blogged already. So it's a, a personal blog, so you can see it uh, you know, further more details. So how we test it in this presentation. And it's about time, I need to finish my presentation, but I also want to share a couple of more other things. So in words, I need to find out the earlier presentation of this one. At least uh, my sister, minor version of my school 8 is in this, uh, this year, 2019, 8.0.14, two newest ones, 8.0.17. We have, uh, uh, presentation. I just finished the translation from actually Japanese to English. It's something that is integrated differently. First in Japanese, and I got a spark English. This is a list of the features, new features, in MySQL 8.0.14. And this is still just uh, the highlights only. And the red one, we believe, is really, really kind of high value uh, important for your uh, uh, use case. Especially, like, you know, if you're DBA, if you want to have the additional TCP IP port other than 3306, to have a special TCP IP port only for the administrators, you can be a user using this port only. And it's still going up. It's all, the, all of these ones are 8.0.14. One more page. And also, uh, at the end of the uh, list, this is also another important component. How good verification 
a low transaction in case of fail, fail over. This feature was added in, in voice report 14. 15, we have only a single reason we released the minus one report 15. We failed to handle IPv6 property in report 14, so we just fix it and release it. That's it, no new features. 8.0.16, again, number of uh, new features, but especially the first one, check constraints. Finally came into my speaker. Check constraint when you're inserting data, tables can check. The value you're about to insert in is, for example, within the range of a number. You can create a table with check constraints. This column only stores one to 100. If you try to insert 200, Sala tells you it's fail to be checked. It failed in check. 8.017 continues virtual new features. But one of the most important new features came into the license. 8.0.17 is so-called clone plugin. You can create a clone of one server to another server without typing any single operating system command. Clone plugin, you install one server and another server. They will communicate. Donor, original, ser original server, will, fed, uh, will allow another server to fetch data file over MySQL protocol, push it into the other server's data directory. It's a totally new idea, thank you for asking. But when you're creating replication slave server, this is a really useful feature. Or you need to create copies of MySQL servers. This will help you a lot. And number three is my, uh, my personal favorite. MySQL now supports JSON schema. JSON schema is like a definition, schema definition against JSON bar. How many, how, how many uh, red fields, how much nests, how many, uh, which data type to use to in JSON data here and there, you can specify and you can validate. It's also information. One more page, no, one more page, and one more. Oh, search. <coughs> uh, this is like a full list of the MySQL, MySQL 8.0.14 to 17. I should have the uh, 0.12 and 17 somewhere. I am missing it right now. But I will upload this one to here, user group. That's why you need to join uh, MySQL user group by one to see the uh, my newest presentation. And before going to, uh, to close my session, I'd like to introduce one more. I need to introduce one more important website. As a part of uh, GitHub, tnpn.github.io slash mysql dash pirates. With some reason, this is not easy to use for finding in Google, but if you search by MySQL parameters, you may hit this one. This one was created by the leader of MySQL user group we had, and this is really useful because check newest version of MySQL 8, maybe you are still up running MySQL 5 and 7. You can see the difference in parameter people configuration of the parameters. Grade, grade ones, ones like this, was introduced in MySQL 8. These ones, vice versa. This parameter was, for some reason, removed in MySQL 8. You can compare many versions if you need. 5.0, 5.1, 5.5, 5.6, 5.7, 5.7, and 8. This is extremely useful to you. So I strongly suggest, I also will post a URL, uh, into this a group. Okay? That's why this is important. I will post into this one for the whole information. If you're interested, please uh, uh, ask any questions through a uh, group. As well as, we have, my team has a booth on the first floor, as I mentioned. So if you have questions in the tools, presentation, it will be faster, or you're looking for a job in my team. <laughs> yeah, you can have some other engineer uh, who speaks Japanese. But we are looking for several other but we also have open versions of the MySQL. So feel free to join our uh, booths. And thank you very much for joining MySQL. Thank you very much.